And to curb the increasing rate of out-of-school children, Kaduna State Government says it will adopt ICT to provide access and flexible educational opportunities for out-of-school married adolescent girls in urban and remote areas across the state. They stated these are the public dialogue for the assessment of Second Chance School Initiative Program and review of policy statements in the state organized by Basilea Vulnerable Persons' Rights Initiative and Helen Memorial Foundation for Rise Up Project. The Commissioner of Education, Kadunawa, was represented by the Director of Planning and Development in the Ministry, Salisu Lawal, said the number of out-of-school married adolescents and vulnerable children continues to be a source of concern in the state with enormous economic and social consequences on individuals and communities at large. He stressed leveraging of ICT to harness the full potential of access to education for all. We are working together with the other CSOs and partners to start our create awareness uh, among our heritage communities on the importance of our second chance education and its impact on the importance of education and second chance uh, policy uh, for husband to allow their wives to enroll into, into schools. And uh, on the part of the government and the partners, uh, we are working um, towards uh, uh, putting more funds or in investing more on the um, procurement of our ICT devices and uh, training of teachers so that um, uh, uh, we are going to fully uh, digitalize uh, education in the state. We want uh, in the very near future to uh, transit from manual to uh, smart school in the state. Also, the executive director of Basilea Vulnerable Persons' Rights Initiative, Jennifer Agbaji, hacked on the need to review the Second Chance School Initiative program and advocacy for ICT remote learning for out-of-school married and adolescents to improve their standard and economic life. It has the uh, Second Chance program, which uh, uh, allows out-of-school married adolescent to be able to re-enroll. We felt like the, the second chance policy had not reached its full potential because we discovered that there's a little gap uh, in that g g girls who were out of school that re-enrolled become second time dropouts. So we decided to have a dialogue and see how can we have uh, the possibility to get that second chance uh, education program reviewed, especially section 6.2, to be reviewed to expand the options to include ICT uh, supported remote learning for married uh, adolescents. It has the ability for, for it to, you know, generate income through ICT uh, skills that they will learn. is like a dual uh, function. Because